Good morning guys, uh, I got some pretty serious uh, workload ahead of me uh, today. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Five drives, one flash drive and one package that just got in. So we'll start with the package and I'll, then I'll quickly explain what's uh, the rest of the stuff uh, that I'll be working on and what we'll be showing you today. So this just arrived. This drive came from Arizona and it's a uh, It's an external two and a half inch hard drive. Let's uh, quickly open it up and find out what's on the inside. Um, this is not a really known brand to me. I don't know what type of drive is on the inside, but it feels heavy. So I'm gonna guess that most likely it's like a one terabyte thicker hard drive. Just gonna undo these bolts here. Okay, so the drive inside is a Toshiba. I kind of had a feeling that it's going to be a Toshiba, but it had been opened before. You see this label? It's not even on the drive, which is a really bad thing, by the way, because without that label, I don't know what parts this drive would need. I don't know what that drive on the inside is. So if this drive is making clicking sounds, I don't even know if I'm going to attempt to do this because this is just too much. Um, if the label is missing altogether, how can I fix it? I don't know what parts to use because they're not indicated uh, by the PCB alone. I'm going to set this aside for now. Uh, this is I will get to it today, but I'll set it aside for now. Thank you, Adam, for sending it in little bolts in there okay the next unit on the line is a two terabyte password we all know this drive I've done multiple of them on this channel already slow response on there I'm hoping that there's no uh, dead heads yet uh, and the information can be uh, just uh, recovered by removing the slow response we'll get to that today it's a local client that brought it in uh, this drive here an older um, lacy well, I don't know if it's really older, it's just I haven't seen this kind of case in a long time. But it's a one terabyte Toshiba drive inside. This drive just needs to be imaged. I'm guessing there's some bad sectors on there or something like that that just prevents it from loading up. Uh, this batch of work came from one of our uh, partners in Vancouver. And uh, um, three hard drives they sent. One is opened. This external drive. This external drive is not opened, but a very interesting thing about it is the fact that this drive had been to what it looks like a non track before Seagate. These part numbers belong to them. Yeah, I see these labels quite often, and um, um, looks like this drive has not even been opened before. So I'm gonna give it another try. Um, the reason for that drive coming back with a label like this, there could be many reasons. Uh, maybe, probably the price was too high. Um, we'll find out. We'll get to that in a little bit. This drive here had been opened before, as I mentioned. Um, I'm gonna have to get those heads out of there, look at their condition, make sure that there's no contamination beyond the norm on them before we do anything with the device and um, this unit here this older Seagate hard drive two terabytes 
um, will also have to be disassembled and tested. I don't know if there are any symptoms that uh, we've been notified about. Um, client just said that the drive stopped working one day and uh, information needs to be retrieved. And last but not least, uh, this is the device that I wanted to talk about. Uh, this unit is made by Kingston. It's a flash drive, 16 gigabyte flash drive, uh, and it's um, called DT101G2. These flash drives come in in two types of packages, and one of them we service very easily, another one not so much. Uh, some of them are coming coming in as a traditional um, surface mount design. Some of them come in as a monolithic design. This particular unit is a surface mount and. Uh, the way that you can tell is simple. You're just gonna have to kind of uh, spread these uh, this swing arm a little bit out, and it pops off like that. Then these two pieces, top and bottom, they're just uh, maybe bonded with a little bit of uh, glue or something in between. But there's a seam right in the middle, and if you crack it open, the unit comes apart. Inside, right here, we have a flash drive that consists of a printed circuit board and a bunch of components soldered to it. That's a regular traditional SMT design. This device here is 16 gigs, I believe. It should take me a couple hours to get this whole thing solved for this uh, client. And once it's ready to go, uh, the data will be transferred via cloud. So, uh, looks like I got my hands full. I haven't had mail bef today yet. Uh, so maybe we'll get some more packages during the day. Uh, it's early in the morning still. So we'll start with the easy jobs first so that they can get on the imaging equipment and image out throughout the day. And then once uh, that's all set and runs, we will begin working on more complicated cases such as the Seagate uh, that was at Seagate or <laughs> on track. This opened up the Shiba and also this opened up the Shiba. I think this drive just needs imaging as well. So I don't think that's going to be too difficult. And I'll film a detailed video about the Kingston, which will be posted in the next episode if you guys want to see uh, the process that I'm going to use. I'm most likely going to use a Rusalute solution on this one. So some of you have been asking me about uh, posting some more of the content uh, using that tool. So there is your chance. I'll get it. I'll try to get it done on there. Results from uh, yesterday's work. Uh, we got the um, two terabyte Seagate partially recovered. About 85% of the data after the head swap, we were able to run it on five out of six heads and get at least partial image out of there. A lot of good recovered data is on this case. Uh, this is the case that I really um, happy about. This is the one that was at uh, Seagate on track or whatever previously based on this label that uh, wasn't recovered we got it fully recovered after the head swap at first we could communicate with the drive but it was so slow that uh, um, heads was just not were not responding all that well uh, took them out replaced them two drives had platter damage beyond any type of repair and uh, this um, and this 16 gigabyte uh, flash drive was recovered off the chip 
for those cases that got platter damage, there's not much to be done um, anyways. So they, we just got them too late, unfortunately. Uh, but the rest uh, were fully recovered and um, pretty good turnout for that day. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. And uh, hit like and subscribe as usual if you haven't already. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, I'll see you on Monday.